Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create polka dot repeating patterns very quickly and easily in Photoshop. Before we get started with this video tutorial, let's look and see what we're going to be doing. First of all, we're going to create a pattern like this, which is a simple white polka dot pattern. And you'll find that the background to this, that sort of pinky color, can be changed independently of the polka dots itself. And then we're going to go ahead and create this pattern. And this is a pattern where we've got two colored dots. We've got yellow and white, although they can be any color of your choice. And again, you're going to see how you can create this pattern so that the blue background is independent of the pattern. And so it can be any color that you want it to be. To create our polka dot pattern in Photoshop, I'm going to start by choosing File and then New. I'm going to make a really small document. It's going to be 100 pixels by 100 pixels. It's RGB color and it's transparent. The important thing at this stage is to make it a known width and height and to make those exactly the same. And it will also be handy if this number is easily divisible by two, which this one is. So I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to zoom in so that we can see this a little bit more clearly. And just so that it is easy for us to develop this pattern, I'm going to fill this bottom layer with blue color. It's going before we actually finish the pattern. So it doesn't matter what color you use, just something that you can see everything against. Because blue is my foreground color, I can press Alt Backspace or Option Delete on the Mac to fill that layer with blue. Now I need a new layer because I need to have my pattern independent of this background because I'm going to turn the background off before I finish. I'll choose View and then New Guide because I'm going to add a new guide. I'm going to do that at 50%. It's easier to type 50% than try and work out exactly what it needs to be at this stage. And then View New Guide again, this time vertical, and again 50%. This will let us make sure that everything is centered nicely inside the current swatch. Now I'm going to select here the elliptical marquee tool and I'm going to hover over the very center of this shape and start drawing out my circle. Now you can see that it's not centered on the shape, but it will be if I add the Alt or Option key. And if I add the Shift key, you can see that everything's being drawn around the center point. I just need to be careful that I let go my left mouse button first and then the Shift and Alt keys. I'm on this new layer here. White is my background color. I'll press Control Backspace, Command Delete on the Mac to fill that shape with my white color. I'll press Control or Command D to deselect my selection. Now you're seeing pixelated edges here because this image is actually at 500% of its typical size. So don't worry that it's pixelated at this stage. I'm going to drag my layer onto the new layer icon so I have two versions of this polka dot on top of each other. And I'm going to use the offset filter to create my polka dot pattern. So I'm going to click this topmost layer and then I'll choose filter, other, and then offset. Now what's important with this offset filter is that we now type in values that are half the size of this particular document. So we created our document of 100 pixels by 100 pixels, so half of 100 is 50. I'll type 50 in here and 50 in here. And that just breaks up that topmost dot and it pushes it to the very edges. So it's now creating our pattern for us. I have wrap around selected here and I'll click OK. So this is my pattern piece. I'm going to choose View and then Clear Guides because I don't need my guides any longer. And I also don't want my pattern to have this blue color behind it because if it does, it's going to be forcing me to make a blue and white polka dot pattern. I'd rather have a polka dot pattern that can be any color behind the white polka dots. So I'll just click here. Now, of course, if you wanted a pattern that was red polka dots, you'd just have made red dots in the first place. Now I'm going to select both of these layers here, clicking on one, shift click on the other, and choose Edit, and then Define Pattern. I'm going to call this Polka Dot, and click OK. And now that's created the pattern inside Photoshop, so I can close this document, and I don't need to save it. That's one of the benefits of Photoshop in that these patterns are now built into Photoshop. I'll choose File New. And now let's create a much larger document to fill with our pattern. I'm going to make mine 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels. 
it's going to be RGB color and it's going to be a transparent document. So I'll just click OK. And now I can choose a background for my pattern. So I'm going to choose a sort of pink at this stage. So I've made it my foreground color with the layer selected. I'll press Alt Backspace, Option Delete on the Mac to fill that layer with my color. Now I'll add a brand new layer. And at this point I can fill it with my pattern. And there are a couple of ways to do it. I'm going to show you the less flexible way first. I'll choose Edit and then Fill. From the Contents drop-down list, I'm going to select Pattern. And then when I do that, I'm going to, from the Custom Pattern list, I'm going to select the very last pattern because that's always the pattern that you've just created. So that's that one just in here. This is going to be my pattern that I just created, my polka dot. I don't want to use Scripted Pattern Fill, so I'm just going to turn that off at this stage and just click OK and that fills my document with my pattern. But as you can see, my pattern is just going in at the size that I created it at. And if I want it to be bigger or smaller, this option of filling the layer with the pattern doesn't give me that ability to resize the pattern as I create it. So let's just turn that off for a minute and let's go and create a new layer a different way. Layer, New Fill Layer, Pattern. When I click OK, this creates a new fill layer in the layer stack and it adds the pattern that I last created. So I don't actually have to go and select it because it's automatically selected in this dialog. This dialog's just a little bit smarter than the other one. And it also allows me to scale the pattern that's coming in at 100%, the size that it was developed at or designed at, but I can change that. So I could make it 50% and have a very small set of dots or I could make it 200% and have really large dots. So you can see that this layer, new fill layer pattern is actually giving me a lot more flexibility to use the pattern that I created in different ways by just selecting the size as I make it. And because this is a filled layer, I can actually double click on this at any time and change the scaling. So there's a lot of flexibility here with creating a pattern this way. You'll recall at the beginning of the video that I told you that we were going to have a look at two different patterns in this particular video. So there's the first one. Let's look at creating the second. Again, I'll choose File New and I'm going to create a 100 by 100 pixel document, RGB color transparent. I'll click OK. I'm going to fill this background layer by pressing Alt Backspace, Option Delete on the Mac. I'm going to zoom in here so I can see everything clearly and I'm going to add my guides yet again, one at 50% vertical and one at 50% horizontal. I'm going again to draw my circle so I have the elliptical marquee tool, I'm adding the shift key and the alt key. I'm going to add a new layer, so just make sure that my dot goes on a new layer. My white is my background color, so I'll press Control Backspace, Command Delete on the Mac. Now I'm going to create a second layer, leaving my selection in place. So I'm just going to click on the new layer icon, but this time I'm going to select the second color for my polka dots. So let's say this time we're going to create a second polka dot that is a sort of yellow color. So I have my yellow selected. And because it's my foreground color, Alt Backspace, Option Delete on the Mac. Now I'm ready to use the Offset Filter, but I'm going to press Control or Command D to deselect my selection before I do that. Filter, Other, Offset. Now this is defaulting to the settings that I used last time, 50 and 50, and that's what I want. So I'm just going to leave it in place and click OK. I'm going to turn off my guides with View Clear Guides. I'm going to turn off my background because I want to be able to color the background for this polka dot pattern anything I want later on. I'm going to select these two layers and choose Edit Define Pattern and I'm going to call this Multicolor Pattern and click OK. Now I'll go back to the pattern that we were using previously. I'll just turn off the pattern and add a new fill layer, new fill layer pattern, click OK. And you'll see that my pattern is defaulting to the pattern that I most recently created, which is my yellow and white pattern. I'm just scaling this to 100% and I'll click OK. And you can see that we now have an alternating pattern where we have both yellow and white dots. 
So that's a way that you can create a multicolor pattern. And of course, this can be recolored because this bottom layer here is just a color fill layer. So if we change this layer, we're going to change the look of our pattern. I'm actually going to put an adjustment layer in on top of this. So I'll choose layer, new adjustment layer, and I'll choose hue saturation and click OK. One of the reasons I like hue saturation is it allows me to play with colors for my background. So if I just drag the hue slider here, I can change the background color and see it in place as I create my design. So it allows me to determine exactly what sort of background color I want. And I'll close the dialog when I'm happy with what I've created. So there's a way of creating not only a plain pure white polka dot pattern in Photoshop, but also how to create a multicolored polka dot pattern in Photoshop. And just remembering that if you add these as a new fill layer, then you get the ability to scale them exactly however you want them to be scaled. And they're live and they can be rescaled at any time. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications, including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.